okay i hope you hear me clearly so we are building something similar to the google index page so we are building something similar to the google index page so this is what we have done so let me revise it so there is a main section if you go to, let's not revise in this way let's inspect it here styles you can see go to the main if you see if you go to the main can you see here it is showing it's a flex which means that this is the flex box so when you say flex box it is unidirectional layout either vertical or horizontal arrangement now if you see this main here and if you see flex direction is column flex direction is what column means elements are arranged top to bottom and that's why you have this header can you see this header this is nothing but the header and this middle section of image and search bar and two buttons is the section and this is the footer section only three things are there main this is the main whole page layout then you have this header then this is middle section and the footer right three things are there now main section is a flex now header is also flex can you see here this header is also marked as a flex this is also flex now i want to make footer also flex and this section inside section if you see this div is there in inside section this div is there technically technically this is the section and this div presently you don't require this div right so let's remove it let's remove it and here we can say class mn and let's remove this div let's remove it refresh it so there is no impact actually there is no impact actually but this will be hampered yeah hello okay so section mn if there is a section and inside there is a main now this class will change just make dot mn refresh it and can you see it will happen like this so here we have created the main header this is the nav dot nv class section dot mn right and here you can see there is a main inside main there is a header there is a section so this outside main is also flex so this thing is also flex this thing is also flex this thing is also flex you need to define it individually you need to define it what individually so now i know i need to take this to the background now if you see the black border is already there so that is border given to this mn sorry this main can you see this black border is given to the main so this much is the main now i want this head to be over here at the top the google section should be at the middle okay and this footer section should be at the bottom which flex property shall i apply so this should be so this should be at the top remember that the middle section should be at the center and the footer this guy footer should be at the bottom remember that you are in a main main is a display flex main is a display flex and orientation is the column and to the main you have applied align items center align items center so here you you just need to make center align items what center so what do you, what is happened align item center 
so everything has come to the center now if you go here align contained and here we can say justif or sorry space between okay just a minute justify content space between yeah just align item center and justify content space between so this is at the top this is at the center and this is at the bottom right now to the footer now to the footer we didn't write the class where is the footer okay inside footer there is a div inside footer actually you don't require a div in uh, yeah yeah because presently when you take a div over here presently there is a nothing more than these elements so so we don't need to segregate this thing as a one unit and some another thing as a another unit correct hello that's why i have removed the div because the section will remain all these things as it is we are not going to combine them in a one unit right and that was and because of that it was unnecessary you can write it no problem if you keep it what will happen instead of applying this technically that is the good idea instead of app so if you look at this so the container for this thing the container for this thing is header right so technically here also if you can see i didn't apply direct class to the header that is the good idea actually a base practice now if you see here here i have applied class directly to the top level container section is the top level container which is nothing but this image the text box and these two buttons so section is the top level container right so there you should avoid applying classes and styles directly to the class level container and so that you need to wrap this top level container into one div so in future in future your client may ask that add one more upload button into this as i have applied class directly to this section applying one more input type may disturb my whole layout right something like this and so that it's the best practice is that you should apply div by considering the base practice and you should move this content to the div so that if client asks and you should apply this class to this container right so that if client asks you to modify something or add something you will create a separate div and into the separate div you will add it so this will not get disturbed right but presently we don't require that that's why i have removed div okay you getting my point why i have removed there is no thumb rule like that so here also presently we are not going to change anything but this is the best practice so my hands are having habit to type the code in a base practice right but presently you don't need it you getting my point why i have written the div and why i'm removing it now if you keep it it's good actually so that you are thinking about the future modifications right but presently you don't need it so keep by keep for keeping your code clean i'm removing that from this thing just refresh it okay here in a section because i want now see if i remove that you will find that it will become full container can you see this is the need this is not your need so in the flex this class mn is also if you look at the class mn this is the display flex and flex di display flex and flex direction is what column 
means these elements would be getting arranged top to bottom and they will occupy full width and here buttons also will occupy full full width that is not the requirement that is not the requirement correct and that's why so this would be the separate element 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 so these four elements are acting as the flex items but i don't want to i don't want these two to be act as a flex item but i want these two to be part of one div so what will happen over here if you see this is one flex item this is another flex item and this whole is one flex item so that flex properties won't be getting applied to the content of this div until explicitly you add it refresh it can you see so this image is one item the text box is another item and the wrapping div is another item hello you got it so until you make a display flex to this div these are not the flex items so section main is a display flex orientation column so how many elements are there one two and this three right if you remove this thing how many elements are there one two three four so all the four would be considered as the flex items now this is one flex item this is another flex item and whole div is the flex item that's why i have added the div inside this correct got it or not correct not the content of the div div would be the flex item if you want to make the con row manner this is the row manner if you see this button google search and then i am feeling lucky so arrangement is from left to right right natural ordering we have seen that the natural ordering of the elements in html is a left to right if you don't apply any layout and if you just go on putting the elements that will arrange left to right if you add one more button if you add one one more button correct yeah flex but the content so so mn is a flex correct right so this is the flex item this is the flex item and this div is the flex item but the content of the div is not part of this flex. Natural ordering, not horizontal. Okay, left to right. Okay, now let's work on this footer. We have footer. Now tell me the code. First, I want these things, this UL. First, I want this UL to be arranged horizontally like this. Tell me the code. What should I write? And these things should be at the right. And this privacy term should be at the left. Tell me the code. So to the footer, let's apply the background color. Say chocolate. So this is your footer first justify content flex start but this is not the flex footer is not the flex so what shall i do look at the footer so this is your interview question right complete the code of the footer so that these two things will go here sorry these three things will go here and these three things will, will go here first thing you need to set the width 100 percent it okay first thing you need to set the width to what 100 percent now the bullets need to be removed how shall I remove the bullets? And that too, if you see NV. Now see, already we have applied dot NV class. 
I will change it and make UL in each and every unordered list that should happen. To each and every unordered list that should happen. Whatever unordered list you will find that should be display flex and list types list style type nine means this will remove the bullets. This will remove the bullets. And you have applied NV class. So you don't need NV class because we have deleted that class and directly we have targeted the element UL. Correct. So one thing. Just a minute. 44. List style type none. And you'll ask me question, how do I get to know? Right, Google it. My I did a, I did a Google. Yes. Yeah. Ha, ah, we have made it. We have made it. And that's why what happened? This and this would be like this. Next question. I want to take this. I want to keep over here. And this should be at the right hand side. How? But for that, your footer should be the flex. Display flex. Can you tell me the orientation? Horizontal or vertical? Look at this and tell me. Hori orientation. Yeah, footer one. So, so this is the footer one. Whatever colored you see over here, that is what? Footer. So I want to arrange this at to the left hand side, this at right hand side. Just don't make any orientation, refresh it. Hmm? Yeah, 43, 44. They have folder name changed. Can you see here? You don't need to do anything. See here. Now you need to say justify content space between. You see, it has gone here. It has gone here. But footer, why it is taking this margin? Inspect. Why someone is getting this margin? Can you see? unwanted margin left is getting applied margin 16 px here here also margin 16 px here this is also margin 16 px so all ul is getting margin can you see 16 px see here when you select it the pop-up comes and there's 16 px margin is there from left can you see that for all uls so go here, margin zero and refresh it. Margin. Well, that is from the top actually. Just 
this is the margin left or what let's add here padding yeah can you see now it has removed that was the problem was the padding and you ask me question what do you edit over here what do you check this is what the developers generally check can you see that so we don't know the padding was instead of writing this in a code just write it here and then go to the code and modify it correct padding is zero this is what developer generally change over here nothing fancy can you see that they are cut to cut now this is also cut to cut but there should be little gap so in this case display flex is there ul width let's try to apply 15 okay let's give a background color to all the uls background color let's give bisque can you see this much is all the if you see here all these things are this much let's give a little more width width a 25 percent would be bigger 10 percent can you see this much is the 10 percent so width is getting increased can you see here 10 percent is coming a little out little more width so 25 percent so this is the two way bigger 25 percent make it 20 percent this is also bigger now i don't want to apply width to this ul i don't want to apply width to this ul but i want to wait okay so make 18 percent 17 percent 15 percent it's a trial and error 13 percent right this is the flex so give it justify content space between or space around and see what will happen can you see little space gmail come here image over here and here also you get little gap between them can you see that actually these are the anchors actually these are the anchors it's a trial and error just refresh it can you see that there is no magic everything is trial and error remove the color now <clears throat> and the text decoration underline line through underline refresh it can you see everyone will get the underline underline text decoration means what whatever cont whatever text is there for this ul that would be underlined this is for the main this border we don't need see basic structure is ready right this one can you try that now share your screen and try i can push this code google index page now tell me the code i 
again push it yeah tell me the code what we can write tell me the look at this diagram and tell me the code think open this code on your screen i have pushed the code and then imagine yeah Yeah, I have pushed the code. You may check it. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. Mm -hmm.
Can I write the code? Okay. So this is the so this is the section. So first we need to take this to the center, right? Am I audible? So height we can say twenty five percent. Twenty five percent is the height. Yeah, padding we can add no problem. But there is a little problem in the padding. You need to manage that throughout the responsiveness. Padding needs to be managed throughout the responsiveness. So this section is there. Remember that it is nothing but this section. And can you see section MN class? So this is already flex. Now to this guy also the div inside MN. So here dot MN dot MN div div inside MN. Let's make display flex. So this is the display flex. And let's move this these two buttons to the center. Justify content center. Justify content center. Refresh it. Can you see these are at the center? The question is that how to give little gap between. How to give little gap between all these elements? This, this, this. Either you can. So this is the MN. Display direction is column. And here you can say. Justify content space evenly. Yeah, so height you can say thirty percent and see background color azure to the MN. MN height over here height thirty percent. So this background color let's give to the parent. But instead of background color, it's confusing. Let's give border one px solid black. Okay, height we need to increase to thirty five percent. Sixty percent. Okay, can you see little gap is there? Thirty-five, forty-five, forty-five is there. Space evenly. Now let's target this. Ninety five VH just for this is also ninety five VH. So you can see clearly it. Okay, can you see these things? And let me remove the border.
okay now this input box so in a section there is an input box so in mn there is an input box dot mn sorry dot mn input type text if there is a dot mn input type input type is equals to text which means that this one so let's give some height 10 percent okay and width we need to apply uh oh 80 percent it would be like this width. And it's a display flex mn.div is a display flex justify content align items center everything will move to this rush to the center like this okay now you need to add some corners to this text box rounded corners border radius 2 pixel border just a minute put text rounded corners google it border radius 20 px border radius 20 px can you see border radius 20 px outline and if you see here colon colon focus whenever the focused mode is there outline none refresher so when you focus it will happen like this can you see that and little padding we need to give so this cursor should start from here so 16 bits what happened Adding left sixteen PX. Little more forty PX. Yeah, see here. I would be starting from Okay. The section your page will ninety percent look like Google. Right? You can modify a lot over here. 
but in front of you i have implemented the google you can implement absolutely anything that's it for the day so let me push this much code I have pushed it okay please go through it whenever you get time try to implement it fine let's call for the day